Despite a mountain of evidence that shows the mRNA vaccines offer little protection when it comes to the spread of COVID-19, New York City Mayor Eric Adams stubbornly refuses to lift the city's vaccine mandate on businesses and city employees. Included in that mandate are the men and women of the New York Police Department, many of whom have been forced to choose between taking the vaccine or early retirement. In a time of rising violent crime and recruitment shortfalls, you'd think retaining good cops would be a priority for the city, but apparently clinging to an ineffective vaccine policy is more important to the powers that be. One of those officers is Daniel Kronmeier, a veteran of the NYPD whose request for a religious exemption was rejected late last month. Jamie Kronmeier, Daniel's wife, explained the situation on her Substack, writing, After 15 years of dedicated service to the city of New York, physical injuries, sickness, countless missed holidays, birthdays, and important events, my husband was told he had seven days to get a COVID-19 vaccine, retire, or get fired. That officer, Daniel, uh, Daniel Kronmeier, joins us now. Daniel, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Just before we get into this, uh, so everyone understands your background and, and what's at stake here. Up until July, you were an NYPD detective specialist with the Emergency Services Unit. Can you tell us a bit about your 15-year career and, and what ESU is? Uh, so, I, you know, I started like anybody else on patrol. Um, when I had enough time in, uh, in patrol, I applied to be in uh, ESU. Um, and what ESU consists of is kind of new, unique to New York. Uh, we handle uh, special rescues, uh, as well as, you know, like typical SWAT stuff you would see, uh, you know, in other cities. Um, so anything from like car accidents and uh, uh, suicidal people hanging off of bridges or buildings or, um, you know, and then technical rescues, people just, you know, uh, construction accidents, stuff like that. So... What tell us about this? I mean, what was the NYPD policy on vaccines? I assume it was rolled out about a year ago. How did it start, and then how did it progress over time? Uh, so it came out. I believe it was like September. It was announced, um, and you had till the end of October to uh, either comply or put in for a medical or religious exemption. Um, and then that went through some, you know, I guess, legal. Um, proceedings. Uh, it was kind of solidified, I believe, by like December. Um, the NYPD sent out all of their denials in, uh, I believe it was like February. Um, and then the appeal process to the city um, proceeded right after that. And then it's been slowly trickling out to, um, you know, not just NYPD, but all city employees that put in for these exemptions. Um, and I, I'm sure there's still more that are that they're going through. <laughs> 